Welcome to the PPU Kiosk tutorial. This video is an overview of the Kiosk application's many features for sharing, editing, and playing back your guests' photos. It will show the Windows version of the app, but the iPad version is very similar. From the Event Manager website, login.photopartyupload.com, click the link to download the Kiosk app for Windows or iPad on the top right of the page. If you already have Helper running and a watched folder selected, Kiosk may connect to it automatically, in which case you'll see your media already on the screen. Let's assume this isn't the case. The antenna in the bottom right indicates your connection. Green means connected, and red means not connected. A yellow antenna means data is currently transferring. Double click or double tap on the antenna to enter the settings screen. You can also press S if you have a keyboard connected. In the PPU Helper tab, Open the PPU Helpers on Network dropdown to select the computer that is running your helper. In the Selected Event dropdown, you can make sure the correct event is selected. If you don't see your helper, click the Refresh button to search for helpers. If you still don't see it, you can click Manual to enter the IP address of the computer that is running the helper. See the Manually Connect Kiosk to Helper IP tutorial for details. Always be sure to disable Windows Firewall on your PC and Windows Tablet as a firewall will prevent Kiosk from seeing the helper. You can also assign the Kiosk printer, if you have multiple printers connected, and set a different printer to handle flipbook printing if you have this enabled for your event. You can also only allow guests to print their photos after they have shared it. You can upload pop-up messages in the Warning Image 1 and Warning Image 2 fields. Warning Image 1 will display before share buttons can be accessed and can simply be clicked through. Warning Image 2 will pop up to prevent the user from printing if they have not shared yet. In the Preferences tab, click the Hotkeys button to access the controls to re-enter settings, minimize or exit the program. Enable Albums displays a menu for selecting what folder to show media from in Kiosk. Enable Video Frame Selection allows guests to choose a frame of their video as it plays to share the frame as a still image. This is often used so guests can print a frame from their video. Remove sharing options that require internet will only display share options that don't require a current internet connection. So Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter will not be displayed. Emails and texts, since they do not require login information, will be queued and sent when an internet connection is established. This option is useful if the internet at your event unexpectedly disconnects, so guests will not attempt to share online without being able to. The Remove Print button will remove the print option from the share screen. Open Slide View on New Photo will change the display mode from Library, which is a grid, to the full frame slide view of every new photo as it is added to the Watched folder. This can also be toggled by clicking on the View Mode icon in the bottom left of the screen. You can upload a file to replace the default kiosk background, customize the size of the thumbnail images in the Library View, limit the maximum number of prints a guest can make, and limit the number of images a guest can select at one time. Setting 1 as the maximum number selected will enable single photo mode, which will display the share screen as soon as a file is selected, with no need to tap Done Selecting. With Set Custom Keyboard Email, you can add a custom email domain to the email share screen keyboard as a shortcut for your guests. This is handy in corporate events where a company email domain may be common. Your media can be ordered by the date it is added to the watch folder, the date the files were created, or alphabetically by file name. You can set the direction that they sort as well, from newest or oldest on the left, and A to Z or Z to A. We recommend that you keep the Check New Version on Startup box checked so you will know when an update is released. You can also click the Check Now button if you're not sure if you have the latest version of the application. Click Export Log to save a log file on your computer. Our support team may ask for this to help them assist you. The Photo Edit tab gives you a number of options to allow guests to edit their photo before they share. For an in-depth look at the editing tools, see our Photo Edit video. You can check Disable Photo Edit if you do not want guests to have this ability. By default, edited photos will be saved as separate files. The Replace Original Photo option will overwrite the photo with the edited version. Disable Photo Edit on GIFs will disable the edit function only on GIF files. You can select a filter to apply to still photos here, and if it has adjustable settings, changes can be made to it by clicking the Settings button. 
In the background removal box, you can choose screenless or chroma key background removal. The chroma key settings can be adjusted here or in the choose background menu. If you have screenless background removal enabled for your event, guests can remove the background of a photo regardless of what the background is. See our screenless background removal tutorial for more information. For instructions on setting up RFID, see our RFID tutorial. In the Slideshow tab, click Enable Slideshow to play through all of the media on your kiosk when the tablet is idle. You can choose to play through all images, only the most recent image, or play randomly through the images. Most recent image plus all will begin with the latest photo added, then play through everything else. Check this box to use full-size images, not the smaller preview files in the slideshow. The orientation options allow you to rotate the slideshow for a vertically positioned monitor. Click Show on Main Screen, then select the number of seconds you want to wait before starting the slideshow. If you have another monitor connected to your tablet, you will see it in the Main Screen drop-down menu. Display 1 is the screen displaying PPU, so select Display 2 if you want the slideshow to play on the second screen. You can set the duration of each slide, the length of the slide transitions, and how many times you want GIFs to loop here. Enable Adverts allows you to select a folder of advertisements to play between slides. You can set a fixed interval of slides for the ads to play between, or set a range for random frequency. In the Advanced tab, you will see checkboxes to hide the cursor, enable a timeout if a share screen has been left up and not completed, and allow for photos to be deleted from within kiosk with the use of a password. To delete a photo, select it, then long press on the clear Q button. Enter your password and it will be removed from the watched folder. If you have a survey with a disclaimer enabled on your event, you can check this box so guests can opt out of the survey. An age gate will only allow guests of a certain age to share files. Here you can disable the Windows keyboard while PPU is running, which can improve performance. You can also show an alert when selecting done after a share, and remove the option for guests to customize their email's message. You can customize the select photos text here, and adjust the scroll speed of PPU here. So that's about it, and remember to check out our support page for more tips and tutorials. Thank you.